Some doubted that such an error exists, but the recent unprovoked and brutal invasion of Ukraine by Russia proves that autocrats continue to exist in this world and present trouble to our democracies. But the greatest challenge facing the democracies of the West today is not in Russia. It is here in Asia, where China continues to challenge the rule-based international order that threatens freedom-loving peoples throughout the region. Taiwan is on the front lines of this epic contest. Now, that is why that in this era it is important that the democracies of the West stand up and defend thriving democracies such as Taiwan against the bullying of your neighbor to the West. And of course, it is my personal view that the One China policy has outlived its usefulness, that it is time to move away from strategic ambiguity. Former U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, Ambassador Stefano Stefanini, Senior Vice President of the Atlantic Council Barry Pavel, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. 欢迎各位来到台湾，各位贵宾过去在行政部门担任重要的职务，这次在大西洋理事会的推动下，共同访问台湾。我谢谢各位用行动展现美国和欧洲对台湾的关注和支持。I extend a very warm welcome to our distinguished guests. You have all served in key roles in government administrations. Today, thanks to the efforts of the Atlantic Council, you are making this joint visit to Taiwan. Your actions demonstrate U.S. and European concern and support for Taiwan. For this, I am sincerely grateful. In recent times, the United States, Europe, and Taiwan have faced many changes. The challenges of the pandemic, the expansion of authoritarianism, and Russia's invasion of Ukraine have all reminded us that democratic partners must bolster the strength of their alliances to jointly defend peace and the values of freedom and democracy. Last month, the G7 leaders' communique reiterated the importance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. We would also like to thank the United States for upholding its security commitments to Taiwan in accordance with the Taiwan Relations Act and the Six Assurances. Looking ahead, Taiwan will continue to strengthen cooperation with the United States, Europe, and other democratic partners to ensure peace and prosperity in the Indo-Pacific. We also saw last year the also last month, the Atlantic Council issued its new Freedom and Prosperity Indexes. Taiwan ranked first in Asia and 18th overall in the Freedom Index and 27th overall in the Prosperity Index. In terms of advancing economic and trade cooperation among the global community of democracies, Taiwan is willing and able to play an even more active role. 上个月底，台湾和美国已经举办台美二十一世纪贸易倡议的首场会谈。除此之外，我们期待台美持续透过贸易及投资架构协定，也就是TIFA会议，以及经济繁荣伙伴对话，也就是EPPD的管道，一起
Additionally, we look forward to Taiwan and the United States deepening economic and trade relations through such mechanisms as trade and investment framework agreement meetings and our economic prosperity partnership dialogue. We are also working to develop the Asia-Pacific Alliance. We hope that the Asia-Pacific Alliance will be able to cooperate with the Asia-Pacific Alliance to strengthen Taiwan and Asia-Pacific countries' alliance with the Asia-Pacific Alliance to the Asia-Pacific Alliance. To echo the European Union's Global Gateway Initiative, we are also rolling out a plan to strengthen ties with Europe. By bolstering our connections with European nations, we are contributing to enhancing the solidarity among global democratic partners. 各位貴賓的支持也將成為台灣持續前進的力量,在這裡我要特別感謝ICPE前部長,無論在美國國防部長任內以及近期 your backing lends Taiwan the strength to continue moving forward. In particular, I want to thank Secretary Esper for his numerous expressions of support during his tenure as U.S. Secretary of Defense and beyond. Once again, thank you all for traveling so far to be with us. Please visit often, and let's continue to advance cooperation and exchange. In the meantime, I wish you a very successful trip. Thank you. Thank you. Madam President, thank you for that wonderful introduction and for your kind words. 蔡总统阁下，非常感谢您刚刚的介绍以及刚刚的欢迎之词。Thank you also for hosting uh, me and the Atlantic Council delegation today to discuss very important issues. 也非常感谢总统阁下今日接待我以及呃太平洋理事会代表团，我们一起来讨论重要的议题。And as you noted, it's not just a U.S. delegation, but European as well. After all, global challenges require a global response. 那么，呃，大西洋理事会不仅是美国，也是欧洲的呃重要机构。我们要一起来讨论重要的议题。Personally, for me, it's great to be back in Taipei and to be joined by the wonderful, freedom-loving people of Taiwan. 非常高兴再次回到台北，并且呃来看看热爱自由的台湾人民。As Secretary of Defense, I made it a priority to make sure that the United States military and our allies were well prepared to deal with this era of great power competition that we are now in. 那么，身为前国防部长，我的任务就是要带领美国以及盟友一起来面临这个世界上重要的局势。Some doubted that such an error exists, but the recent unprovoked and brutal invasion of Ukraine by Russia proves that autocrats continue to exist in this world and present trouble to our democracies. But the greatest challenge facing the democracies of the West today is not in Russia. It is here in Asia, where China continues to challenge the rule-based international order that threatens freedom-loving peoples throughout the region. Taiwan is on the front lines of this epic contest. Taiwan is this epic contest. The mere existence of a thriving democracy with a robust economy and our freedom-loving people is anathema to everything that the Chinese Communist Party believes. 那么我们支持
拥护民主，则是对抗中国的信念。Uh, that is why, that in this era, it is important that the democracies of the West stand up and defend thriving democracies such as Taiwan against the bullying of your neighbor to the West. So, now, the Western countries should stand up and defend Taiwan. If there is one issue that unites politicians in Washington D.C. It is the view that China is a strategic challenge for our country, and that Taiwan is a good friend that we must support and defend. 那么目前在华府的呃政策当中有一个共识，就是应该要一起支持台湾来面对中国所造成的威胁。This was a similar message that I carried while in office to our friends in Europe, and that in NATO meetings as well. 那这样的讯息，我同时也传递给在欧洲以及北约的伙伴们。So I was very pleased to see the NATO strategic concept come out and address the challenges that faces the countries of the West, particularly Europe and the United States. 所以我也非常乐见北约提出了相关的战略计划来协助西方以及欧洲。So I know that the delegation and I look forward to our meetings today with you. And with members of your cabinet to discuss trade matters, diplomatic matters, economic integration, and of course, security preparedness. So, I personally and our delegation today are very pleased to be here with you to discuss trade matters, economic integration, and of course, security preparedness. So, I personally and our delegation today are very pleased to be here with you to discuss trade matters, economic integration, and of course, security preparedness. That it is time to move away from strategic ambiguity. That, 以我个人的观点来讲，我认为一中政策现在已经没有用了。我们应该要远离所谓的战略模糊。I think it's important that we begin that national discussion back in the United States. 我想我们在美国应该要重新有不一样的讨论。But it will help that discussion and help us educate the American people if we can also point to bold decisions being made in Taipei. 那要重新的向我们的国人宣导，并且教育他们一个很好的方式，就是告诉他们台湾在台北所做的这些政策决定。Decisions such as a bold increase in defense spending, decisions such as an adoption of asymmetric warfare and corresponding capabilities. 那这些政策包括大胆的提升国防预算以及增加不对称战力能力等等。Decisions such as lengthening conscription and make it, making it more rigorous. And decisions such as improving reserve mobilization. It is important that the American people and our leaders in Washington fully see that the Taiwan people are fully committed to standing up to communist China. And defending themselves, as we, the democracies of the world, stand behind Taiwan. So we must ensure that American leaders and politicians in Washington and elsewhere see Taiwan with that, Madam President, I want to thank you once again for meeting with us today. I want to thank you for your courageous leadership, and I look forward to our discussions this week. Thank you. 蔡总统阁下，再次感谢您今天的接待。我也要特别呃肯定您勇敢的领导力。那么非常期待我们这次的讨论。谢谢。